Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to explain how to have card types which only appear when you want them to. So when you're creating a note, you will choose whether the card type appears or not. So let's do an example. Let's make an example with learning some Japanese words. So let's create a new card type. Now we're going to have three fields, word, hiragana, and meaning. So the word will be how it normally shows up. For example, this is the word for cat, nickel, and hiragana will be the phonetic pronunciation for it. So uh, if you already know this word or this kanji and you look at it, you know that it it is ne, kol, but if you don't know this word, uh, then or this kanji, then you would, you wouldn't know this yet. So I'm gonna include this, and then we want the meaning. Search the Japanese word in Google Images. All right, so pick one of these. Alright, so the first kind of card we want is a card that simply shows us the word with the pronunciation and asks for the meaning. So let's say we're trying to memorize vocabulary. So card number one, meaning on the front. And in case we in case we do know pronunciation, we want to include the phonetic transcription only as an optional thing. So there's the word. You click this, it shows us what the pronunciation is. And on the back will be the meaning. So that's the first kind of card. So here we're not really worrying about whether we can really read this kanji properly. It's just if we can, we can. But if we can't, we click this and we know that it, it is nickel. So maybe we don't know the kanji, but maybe we do know that nickel means what we see here. So now we want an optional card type. And I'll show you how to make it optional in a moment. The optional card type will be, we're actually gonna try to test whether we know the pronunciation. So we're actually gonna put the meaning on the front with the kanji character because we're not worried about knowing the meaning right now we're just worried about knowing what the pronunciation is so this kanji meaning this on the back we will include the pronunciation so just like that but we want to make this card we want to make this card optional so the way we're going to do it is we'll after we get out of here, we're going to create a new field. We're going to call that field test reading. So reading is usually the, the term used for looking at a kanji and knowing what the pronunciation is. So you'll say, do you know the reading for this, for this uh, kanji? So we're going to call the field test reading question mark. And The code that we use is we have, so normally we just have the field name within these two curly brackets on each side. But when we're doing this uh, thing here, we need to also add this first, and then this, and this one. And we're gonna wrap it around the whole front of the card. So the way this will work is essentially once we create the field called test reading question mark, if there's something in that field, then it will display this. And if there's nothing in that field, then it won't display this. And the way Anki works is that if there's nothing on the front of a card, it doesn't generate that card. So let's create a field called 
test reading. And it doesn't matter what you put in here in order to generate the card. Go like that or whatever. But just to kind of keep it organized, just put an X. So if we put this X, it will generate both cards. So let's look. We've got two cards being generated. First one is this one. And the second one will be this one. But now, let's say we have a, a card where we already know the reading very well. We don't need to think about that anymore. So this is the word for dog. The reading is this. Eat. Newt. And now let's uh, type this in. Google Images. Get a picture of a dog here. And what we're going to do is we're not going to put anything in here. And what will happen is only the first card will be generated. So there we go, just one card generated. And I didn't really have to click that because we were presupposing we, we already knew pronunciation. And uh, there we go. So this is a, a nice way to choose whether to generate a card or not. So you enter the information once and then you can have more than one card being generated and you can choose you can choose whether to generate a certain card or not. In this case, when we're memorizing new new words, if we already know the pronunciation, then we just don't uh, don't put this in here. And I guess if you're learning a new word, you would uh, you wouldn't know the pronunciation, so it doesn't make much sense. But either way, just an example of how to uh, do this function where you can either generate a card, a certain card, or not.